So, so keep it, everything down to a whisper because we have a lot of noise coming from the bar right now with lots of copyrighted music, <laughs> which is not good for YouTube. So go ahead, Leonard, go. Well, thanks a lot, folks, for letting me have, uh, be here in uh, wonderful Burbank today. Um, yeah, it was a two and a half day drive, and I wasn't too bored. You, you guys got some real good radio out here. You really okay. do. I, I found a swing station, and oh. I'm just like, yeah, we got there some go. music now. Okay. So, but we'll get right into it here. Um, what you're seeing here is the start screen to Portal. Um, Portal was uh, made for the 64 sometime before 2020. Um, Everything here is freeware on this because it's copyrighted by Valve. Okay, so um, we'll just, uh, I wish I knew what to say. <laughs> we'll I love right Portal. <laughs> Portal! Let's see what we got here. My favorite, one of my favorite games ever. Does that drown out your music across the street? <laughs> Let's see what we're doing here. Sadly, because this is on the uh, this is on the uh, five-inch screen, you can, you can barely read that, and that's a dang shame. But uh, I think I got that thing turned all the way up. <laughs> there we go. I think we can do that. Do you have an external um, monitor feed from there? Like yes. Because you could borrow my TV. <laughs> uh, it's too late. The presentation's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, trying to get me one, but I ran out of time to get it all done. All right, then. Let's go right into it. Uh, press E. What do you press here, Leonard? Oh, F3. There we go. You gotta have your GLaDOS, you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> uh. And I'm just gonna go through one level. What is the object of Portal? To get out. <laughs> okay. It's a puzzle like game. Oh. So you run over here. Where you have to and do some coordination. Control, the motion, W is jump. It's really. Let's see where we do this. Non violent. Whee! Oh, okay. I'm dead, Jim. Okay, I'll do that. But uh, this uses, um, you can use either the controller or you can use a mouse. Gabriel wanted this. I mean, the minute Robert got me an SD to IEC, Robert, or Gabriel went right online and he found some, Dad, can you download this? I said, I uh, don't see why not. So he downloaded it and he played it and beat it in about 15 minutes. Oh, what? He beat well, it? Well, he played wow. Portal. He's got Portal and Portal oh, 2 okay, got it. for the PC. Oh, okay. So he turned around and played that. Okay. He had a good time with it. He was kind of impressed on that, what, uh, what was done. <laughs> ah, foolish. <laughs> I'm losing. I'm losing. I ain't gonna lose anymore. I'm done. <laughs> Basically, because I can't sit in front of the screen, but it's okay. So that's Portal. Um, I got this over here. They are donationware. Just throw throw some money in the Sarpino's so, bag. So is Portal the only one on that disc, or are there? Yeah, other... I just put Portal on that disc. Oh, okay, there are no other programs on that disc. Only Portal. Yeah, only Portal. Okay, got it. So, and uh, now we're gonna turn around and look. At this real quick, I just don't want to waste everybody's time, Robert. I mean, everybody else is doing music. No, 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 no. no. And I'm a... <laughs> hey, but, hey, Portal had music. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, but it wasn't my music. None of that stuff mine. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Oh, do I... Check it out. All right. As you can see, Bible Trivia 22 is something that Robert and I have been working on. I came up with most of it. 
Robert's been trying to make it a whole lot better. And uh, the person I'm writing that for, I'll go ahead and load it while I'm talking. The person I uh, wrote this for keeps changing her mind. She uh, wants A, and then she want, doesn't want A, she wants Z. Oh, you're loading up Bible trivia... Yeah, the, the funny one. 22? 22, well, that's what... Now, this is 20, the year 22. Okay, oh yeah, okay, got yeah. it. I thought you meant version 22. Mm -mm. This is uh, the year 22. Okay, got it. And um, also, the guys at Atari Age had to help me fix it. Because... Um, Every time it would loop, it would gather garbage rapidly. Oh. Rapidly. And it's just like, you can't even go to the next question without it uh, locking up. So they just found a little uh, restore command, which I didn't even know that restore was a uh, type in command. I know there's a restore button here, and I thought that's all what? And that's all I, I mean, I, I had to look it up in the book, and I was like, well, there it is. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, this thing needs a complete re rework. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I know that uh, in the army they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> well, it ain't broke now. So you just track this. There ain't much to this, guys. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah. So, so you come up with a menu. Can mm -hmm. you tell? Can you tell the people who cannot see that little screen, can you tell them what's on the menu? Well, this is your categories. You got the Fab Four. Figure that one out. Let's see what I'll do. Uh, the Staff, Judge Judy, Big Money, Rooster Cogburn, GPS Time, Tape Measure, Top Orders, Hammerman, Directory, Rambo, <laughs> These aren't games. These are the titles to the questions. You see, and um, so, ooh. so you get to choose the category. What this is written for kids, guys. This isn't written for us. The kids at the church have to learn Bible verses for uh, what they call quizzing, uh, and they actually get to go to a competition oh. in the Nazarene church and try to get top honors in their district. Do, do they get like a ribbon or a they prize? They get a ribbon and they actually get a trophy. A trophy? Yeah, one of the nice little plastic trophies wow, you can pick okay. up a dollar jet. <laughs> well, okay. So, let's see. Oh, let's try the dynamic duo. Here we go. Okay. In Acts chapter 3, which two apostles healed the beggar at the beautiful gate? Your choices are Spider-Man and Deadpool. <laughs> or Batman and Robin. There you go. Or would it be Peter and John? How would you like to choose on that guy? Mario's actually thinking about it. <laughs> we, need, we, we need a response from the audience. Someone chime in. Batman and Robin. You want to do Batman and Robin? It says incorrect, incorrect man. And you get an X. You get X. an X and a try again. Well, you want to try. <laughs> In Acts chapter 3, which apostles healed the beggar to beautiful gates? Spider-Man and Deadpool, Batman and Robin, or Peter and John? Not Peter, Paul, and Mary. I think it's Batman and Robin. You want to do Batman and Robin? You just did that. Well, you just you did that. You got to do it again. There X. it is again. Uh-huh. Okay. No, it just keeps it. This is just to help the back. kids okay. try to learn. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, it's a P Peter and John, number three. Peter and John. There's your music. This is my very first attempt at working with music. He's There's analyzed it. the music already. He says it's sawtooth. There you go. There you go. That worked out real well. So, oh, let's see what we can, what we can do. Okay, get another one. How about Rambo? Rambo. I say, I say Rambo. Is it a violent question? We're about to find down, ain't we? Rambo. I gotta figure out what number. Rambo is six. <laughs> I got my glasses off. Ra Rambo is six. Rambo is six. Six. I could see it on my the zoom on my camera. All right then. 
Which person in the Bible killed the giant Goliath of Gath? Wonder Woman, Captain Underpants, or Jake? <laughs> yeah, you know I'm going to put some comedy in this guy. <laughs> you can take me off the stage, but you can't take the comedy out of me. <laughs> we need a response from the audience. Huh? We you want the real woman. answer? Or we need an answer. answer. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman? You want to try Wonder, Wonder Woman? Saying the real answer is kind of boring. Yeah. X. It's too boring. That, so, so I, one thing I, I, I found out about this program is that the, the X sound, the, the incorrect sound is, shouldn't it be a little more harsh? I mean, it just, yeah, gives, well. it, it just it gives a beep. I mean, what's a better sound than beep? <laughs> oh, it should be like um, in, the, price, uh, in the, uh, the Family Feud game, they did it. <laughs> so, so How we. Do that? I, I, I don't know. Would it, do would it would it be know. data statements on the Commodore 64 as a, as a sound? That's for, what I. That's what you saw with mine. Those were originally data statements. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to make the sound the sound of in data statements. <laughs> I bet I, I could. Like I could try to. You you could do it in a modern PC thing and then try to backport it to. Yeah. The, if you could do it right away, we could modify the game. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll say the three, David. Now, uh, I mean, the, the answers are so easy. I mean, you don't take the, the, the funny answers, you take the serious answers. Yeah. yeah. It's always. Oh, okay. So, well. This is just, like I said, it's a demo. This is just to show the pastor of the children's church what can be done with, with, with this machine. Now, uh, okay, so, so, but she wants complete verses in here. Yeah. Not, not just do, do Yeah, Robert, Robert Turner questions. worked on a real good one um, that he, that you found from, what is it, Hoku Force? We turned around and got into the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, right? Wheel of Fortune? Okay, Wheel of Fortune is, is different because it doesn't use phrases. It just, is, just uses two or three or one, one or two or three words. That's what it I tried to explain to you her. You cannot use phrases. That's what I tried to explain to her. And she just like, oh. I'm just like, yes, oh. So it's, it's two, I don't know, David for 300. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah. Jeopardy. Okay, I tried to find... A, a modifiable C64 game of Jeopardy, you know, yeah. where you could put in your own questions, questions. Yeah. but I, I couldn't find anything. So darn it all. If I could, you know, modify the questions, then maybe that would be better hmm. in, in Leonard's case, but I couldn't find yeah. anything. Now let me show you what I did come up with. It got really, really close. Let me see if I can find it. What did I do with that? Oh, it's on the same disc, I think, guys. Wait Are you talking about Wheel of Fortune? I think it's on the same disc. Now, this was not written by me. Okay. But I did turn around and get into it and modify it. Okay. So, that would be Wheel of Fortune Bible. This, this guys, is cheap, cheap, cheap. What? What? Uh? <laughs> yeah, this game is cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. What is, is this Wheel of Fortune? Cheap, cheap, cheap. This is. They don't call this Wheel of Fortune. They call it. Uh, they call it a cheap, cheapo version. <laughs> without the graphics, huh? Yeah. Probably without the graphics. Yeah, this is definitely without graphics. Well, okay, no graphics in the in this one, even though they call mm -hmm. it a Wheel of Fortune. Not much. Well, that's nice. Get out of there. <gasps> That's what I hate when I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, I've actually coded uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in Scala. What? For the win for Windows. But, uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, who wants to be a millionaire? No, I'm going crazy trying to get this done. Oh, this I've tried nice. so hard to bring a Commodore back into the church that I'm just sweating it out, you know, and uh, yeah. everybody just wants everything. So modern, this is like, this is simple, guys, come on. If I can do this, anybody can do this, because I'm the low baller in this whole group. Mm. I am down here. But you got to step on me in order to get up there, because I am the basement. I am the foundation. Okay, here it is. This is, 
Lower music, yay! Okay, it says Wheel of Fortune, press any key to continue. Rival ed quiz edition, on a strange church of the Nazarene. Okay, I, ha I have not seen this, so... You haven't? Nope, you have not sent this to me for me to, uh, to criticize or correct. Yeah, well that's because it's still under development. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Huh? Okay. Now that's something that she's really looking for. She has got the uh, Bible verse down here. So if you hop on your Google and look up Acts 2828, you've got three quarters of the answer. <laughs> so. So you get a turn around. Okay, so explain to the, the crowd here, Leonard, our, our choices here, because right. they, they cannot see that the, the little yeah, screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. It says, uh, one, reset the game. Is that one? Yeah, F1, reset oh, the F1. game. Oh, F1, okay. Yeah. F2. F2, see the instructions. F3, spin the wheel. F4, buy a vowel. Uh, F5, solve the puzzle. And F6, reset the computer. Okay, now, got reset it. the computer is a joke. That's what the, the, this guy put in there was a joke. And if you turn around and write in exactly what he says, it will not reset. Does it just stop? No, it goes back to the loop. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's... So, that's I don't understand why he did that, but it wasn't funny. But, of course, you get into the okay. basic of it, you can so, find the real so answer. So, let's start... How, how do we play the game well, here? Well, we're going to turn is it around... F and spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't see a wheel spinning. <laughs> what is that? Okay, that's supposed to be a wheel spinning. That's bankrupt. That's what that is. Oh, that was bankrupt? Okay, well, go ahead. Oh, I see what it's doing. Yeah, it's going around. It's just a little dot, a little mm -hmm. square going round and round. <laughs> All right, let's choose a letter. Why is it doing that that bar at the top? That's to turn around and choose, you know, when you choose a letter. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, it'll go up there. Now, the oh. fun part of it is your version turns around and shows which letter you've already used. This one doesn't do that. So, okay. I mean, past the bar, so, really so it's likes a, it, that It's one. a consonant, right? Yeah. Okay, pick a consonant. Uh, S. S? Very common. Yeah. All huh? right, then. Robert's oh, okay. player two, and he's up to 600 bucks. Oh, okay. Okay. Which is not real money. I ain't gonna give it to you. Right. <laughs> okay. You wanna do it again? Sure, spin. You see, this will do what she wants done. Okay, but you, you and you could put in your own phrases into yeah, here, right? Yeah, the fun part of it is, well, let's, what do you want to choose now? I'll show you here in a second. With another common consonant. Uh, M? M? No, I don't think that's as common. Nah. Alright, and then that's blue. Okay. Now, you cannot have this go past a certain Oh, point. I see. So the That's why it's broken up. That's why it says Acts 28, 28B. That's why I broke it up. Is the, because so if you, you, can't, you can't have a phrase longer than 40 characters long? Pretty much. <laughs> So that makes it real fun. What Bible phrase is less than 40 characters long? <laughs> John 14, 6. Yeah, but they're much longer ones. I mean, yeah, uh, Esther 8, 9. I mean, it's going to be pretty tough finding the appropriate phrases. Yeah, yeah. It will be tough. It will be tough. That's why I just, I just need to work on it. Everything here is pretty much in development. Here. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, solve the game. Solve it. You want to solve it? Solve it. You want to try to solve it, or you want me to solve it for you? You, you can solve it then. So what you do is you'll just type in... That. Oops. Oh, oh, that oh that's all right. I want to go ahead oh. and get out of that, and I'll solve it here. So, that was my... Like I said, I can't see this from this angle. I do apologize. And also, if you do play this game, you got to use your cursor key to go to the uh, right, <laughs> so you can uh, get her done. You mean it, uh, it doesn't understand space? You have to put in a, use the cursor key. Mm -hmm. Mm 
I think this is going to send text to. So that is the sound of success, huh? That is the sound of victory. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very good. So that's what I'm working on for the church. And well, okay, that, that, is, that is, that is, well, that runs acceptably because it's mostly just text. Yeah. Does it, does it, it, it's all written in basic, guys. It's, it, it's very, very easy to work with. Okay, so uh, what's, what's next, Lynn? Are you going to show Wheel of Fortune, the modified version of Wheel of Fortune? You want to see that? Sure. because that no thing's one, it's 303 blocks long. No, oh, that's right. You don't have a fast loader. I don't on have a fast loader. We were just we, talking about We can about edit that. the video to cut out the big space in the middle. Okay, you so, do that? Yeah, load up uh, Wheel of Fortune so people can see... Uh, the many hours of work I had put into this program. What did I do with it? It's a question. I don't know. Hmm. Well, what did I do with this? So, uh, what I had found for, for Leonard was a modifiable version of Wheel of Fortune on the internet for the CSIS support. Oh, wait a so minute. Do I even have, oh, I don't the, even have them all out here. It's the commercial version of Wheel of Fortune. However, you can modify the list of words that it puts, it puts into the puzzle. Talk about your books. Everybody's just about read everything I've got. But um, took this the, is a new one. The new book. Yep. And a lot of people are not, uh, at least the commoner people, <laughs> are not happy with this cover. We, we, we just have a, d a difference of opinion. We, we, we are neither happy nor, nor, nor sad. We are just have a difference of opinion. Yeah, it's a different... I fought, I fought Tim on this. I fought him hard. But he says, I've got to do an outhouse. An I'm outhouse. Like, so, Why? So a Commodore next to an outhouse. Mm. There you go. Yeah, because it's load run. <laughs> what? Is that All one right, of the... that's how he got it. Is that... So that's the joke. Yeah. No, the joke is written on the back. So... From the sewer seepage of a depraved mind comes what? more stories of murder, intrigue, and espionage. What the heck? <laughs> And other outhouse drippings, sir. Uh, mm, ooh, starring wait. everyone's favorite retro computer line Commodore. If you buy that line of croc, then check the front cover. Wait, who wrote that? Uh, I did. You did? Oh, heck. Oh, I was going to say, who's the deprived mind? Or who's calling somebody a deprived mind? Me? Yeah. But it's yourself calling you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, got That's it. That's okay. So <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever written. Oh, okay. And if you... If you read, reset, and there are some stuff in here from the old uh, CUGKC. Oh, Yeah, okay. there's some stuff in here from that. But this is the biggest one I've written, and I've decided I'm never going to do that again. I'm Wait, not going to write another do, big book. Do smaller books, or...? or yeah, I'm going to pretty much stay within uh, this frame right here, the, these two sizes here. Okay, so your, 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 your latest book, Load, Run, uh, that is, uh, how much is that right now, and from where is it being sold? Oh, this uh -oh. is from, uh, and this is being sold for $14.95 on, uh, on Amazon. Okay, Amazon. Yep, and uh, I'm also, if you can get over to the tech shop, if you could turn around and go to the, the underscore tech underscore shop, at live.com, you can get it for nine ninety nine. Okay. Tim will turn around and uh, be more than glad to uh, give you a discount. And if you wait a couple of a few other weeks, I'll even sign it so I can go to oh, his house. There you go. I can so, even go to his so, house. So, so, so if we go to that second link, you get all of the money. But if we go to Amazon, Amazon gets a cut of the money. Amazon will get forty percent. Oh, I didn't know Amazon got forty. It's a sixty forty. If I if okay. I understand right, it's sixty forty. Amazon. Wow. Well, they're doing it. They're doing. They got me turn around and do everything for free. Right. So that that's all I want is a percentage. Right, of course. Yeah. Good. So. Okay. So so the program the program is still loaded up. There's Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. The original uh, loading screen from the original commercial game. Mm-hmm. I can't patch a bar of absolute love. And we're still waiting. Oh, so Leonard, so you're displaying the books right now. Do you have any of the books for sale for our attendees today? Sure I do. Okay. These are all, since you, if you don't want to turn around and order it from Tim later on, you can get it from me right now. 
Ten bucks. A copy. Boom. For for any of those books, or is it just for the latest book? Any of the books. And uh, I don't know if you want to show these or not. Sure, go ahead. This is what I've been doing when I'm not writing Commodore books. There's uh, buy skits for secondhand puppets, the Ten Commandments. Naturally, everything here is supposed to be funny. Okay. So there's that. Huh. And there's a. This is my uh, second. Oh, book. that's for pre-Ks. Pre Interesting. Pre-Ks. I wrote this in for the wife when she was married to me. Okay. And uh, now she ain't here. So. I'm going to turn around and have some fun with it myself. Here's another book that you're pulling out. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to keep these in order. Don't tell me I didn't put one in here. Ah! No, no, no. Oh, we're just seeing the top of your head right now. Oh, yeah. All right, Tim. What is that? This oh. is Volume 3, Twisted Parables. Naturally, what do I do? I turn around and what I did is I took the literal meaning of the parables, and I twist them up. Oh, gosh. Oh, I know. Oh, and the no. kids have, just like the first one in here is, there's actually a Three Stooges fight. <laughs> you know, it's just like, you don't see that in the original text, and it's like, of course you don't. Larry, Moe, and Curly? Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can find some more here, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get this out of the way so I can not see the top of my head. Now, I could have sworn down I had volume two in here, but apparently I didn't put volume two in here. <laughs> ah! What did I do with volume two? I don't know. Well, continue on with Wheel of Fortune. Then. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. So, okay, Wheel of Fortune, it starts up just like the regular commercial version. It sure is, and we'll just choose one player. And put in your name, contestant number one. Loser! Okay. <laughs> and the computer chooses its own names for the other contestants. Mm -hmm. Frank. As it does, as it does. And, and here Henry. we go. Now here's here's where it, it, it it's just like we already waited a long time. Now you gotta wait a little bit longer. Right. Now when you run this on yeah. Windvice, there's yeah. a button called warp and you can make it go whoop real oh. quick. And you can watch Vanna go boom, 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 boom. Really, really fast. On the ultimate 64, which is at 48 megahertz. Probably yeah, do the same goes really fast also. <laughs> you leave it at 48 megahertz. Oh, do you? If you if you reduce it back down to the regular one megahertz, then that <laughs> is, is slower. Yeah. Donation where guys throw something in the bag and you can have a copy. If you want to basically, if you want to help me develop it, that would be great. Wheel of Fortune? No, not this one. The ones that I've been uh, manipulating. Oh, the other ones. Yeah. Are yeah. Oh, that's right. You wait a minute. That's right. You mm. what? It, after after you pick the players, then it has to load the next module. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't change this into a one file game because it could. You have to choose and then it loads a module. Mm -hmm. You can't just start it from the beginning where everything's loaded already. Yeah. You have to choose the number of yeah. players. Now in the El Chivo version, it'll turn around and do that. Okay. So we have Wheel of Fortune, and it's going. As normal, like in the commercial version. Spin. There's Vanna White. But well, she's got red hair. Yeah, I know. It's kind of hard to put. Well, if we put blonde hair, she would have had yellow. It would be yellow on the cover. I see. I understand. Okay, you're spinning for a consonant, mm -hmm. and it's a phrase. Mm -hmm. And of course, this has been modified to be a Bible phrase. Yeah, Robert did a real good job with this, so give it so, up for him on that. Uh, I he did spent, a real good job. I put in 227 w phrases into this thing. It took, yeah, it took me hours and hours, days and days. Sweating and bleeding. <laughs> okay. Yes? Okay, so you're picking consonants right now mm -hmm. to fill up the puzzle. Whenever you get tired, just Robert, just tell me you're no, tired. No, keep on going. We have to, we have to show the the people who are watching the YouTube video. <laughs> As you can see, this one's better because all the letters that you use are gone, so you don't have to sit there and figure out what it is. Right. 
That's really good. The kids absolutely love this. They absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Because we have Vanna there walking, she's clapping mm -hmm. her hands. It, it's a lot more exciting, a lot more to see, a lot more to do. But, uh, Robert, you did a, I don't know how to thank you, but you really did a good job on this one. Well, I'm thinking of a Star Trek edition. <laughs> <laughs> it will be full of Star Trek words, but of course, original series Star Trek. Yes. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm uh, bankrupt. Now what do I do? Lost all your money. Not, yep. Now and it goes. The now it goes to the computer. Frank. Frank will take over and try to figure out the rest mm -hmm. of the book. Let's see what Frank does here. Oh. Lost his turn. <laughs> Now, Henry. So, somebody tried to load up Sonic the Hedgehog. How come they didn't finish loading up Sonic the Hedgehog on the other computer? That's fine. I don't know why. Four ends in the puzzle. Yes. All right then. Henry's gonna play. Uh oh, he's gonna buy that. What are you gonna do, Vern? Okay. So, has anyone figured out that no one can see the phrase from this far away? I could see it because I'm zoomed in onto the screen. You know, the fun part of it is, I was playing this once, and one kid just got, had pulled the letter S. It was a, a vet, and he figured it out. It's just one letter. One letter? Easter Sunday. He, he, he figured, figured out the figured puzzle out in Sunday one letter. One letter, the letter oh, S. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's, I think that says one, one something. <laughs> Can't figure out. Yep. I know what it is right now. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. And I put in the phrases. I can't remember the one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the good news of it is you really can't remember 300 phrases. So you should remember this one. I think that Frank, or Henry may have figured it out. Oh, I know. The, the computer has figured it out. Other I than a human player. There he goes. Uh oh. One, One does not live, live on bread alone. alone. There it is. Got it. So. Was there an Amiga version of Wheel of Fortune? I don't know. I don't care. Not for the 64 for sure. <laughs> okay, so it goes to round two. It'll give you another phrase. Then you have round three, which is give the you another phrase. phrase. The and then you assignment. have the bonus round. Oh, the bonus round. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, the bonus round. You got the bonus round. So we're gonna quit that. Robert, I think that pretty much does it for me. Um, I really don't know what else to show you guys. So those are all of your re religious programs. Those are no, all there's more. There's more, but I'm, I don't uh, want to. Uh, you mean there are more? Like what? Well, you know the one that you worked on. Yeah. Are those all of those? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you which, did. Which are the other ones? I, I, I. You I, are right. What are the names of the other ones? I don't remember. Any Bible names. games and Bible scramble. Bernardo. Oh, that's right. Update. You didn't. You didn't show those. Go ahead, show those. You want to show that? I spent day. I, I spent days I just on. I didn't want to turn on. Them. Far longer, many more days on those uh, than Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune was a cakewalk compared to, 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 to the others that you threw at me. I went, whoa. No, I turned around and did that. Now, um, um, got here is something that Robert was nice enough. What did I do with that book? Did I put it away? Yeah, I must have put it away. Uh, I don't know. No, here it is. Oh. This is the book that everything came out. What I did is I did an internet search. For Bible games for the C64, this is the only thing that came up. Just an, an actual book. An actual book. You guys remember doing this? Typing in programs. So, oh, okay, okay. That you book. That? that book has programs for which platforms? For which um, computer platforms? Over Apple. 200 using AppleSoft Basic, Commodore Basic, and Microsoft M Basic. <laughs> yeah, that takes you back, don't it? <laughs> Okay. That takes you back. 
Right. This is Robert's version. I like it a whole lot better. So you gotta do the bl the the blitz version, right? The B, the one that runs faster, blitz. The what? The B pro the B program. Yeah. The C program. The C program. Sorry. The C program. Yeah, we'll do that when, one. That when, one's a good when one. When you blitz it, they put the prefix C in front of your program. Mm -hmm. You compile your program. C, I guess, means compile. Three four compile. And Robert did a good job. Because, with it. because when you run it in basic, boy, does it run really slow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Now, see what we got here now. Let's see. It takes a while to load because it's still a very big program to load yeah. in. Yeah. Like I said, um, you guys have convinced me to go ahead and try to get a fast load for this thing if I can find one. But like I said, I've got. What did I do with this? Well, there's there are other there are other fast load cartridges other than fast load. Yeah. They, and some of them are far superior, like Super Snapshot. Super, Super Snapshot, Snapshot is far superior than fast load. Mm -hmm. Or or now, which well, one? Which well, Super one? Snapshot or even Warp Speed. Warp Speed is like the fastest of the cartridges. Oh, Warp Speed! I'll have to look that one up. In fact, Carl had a Warp Speed. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he enjoyed it. He liked his Warp Speed. <laughs> See that, Robert? Yes. So, yes, oh, I better zoom in on that. Yeah, yeah, there it is. See? That's so, Robert's work, that little cross work. right there. I put it in little Petsky graphics to liven up the program. Because the kids don't want to see want to see just text. They want to see little graphics and now, some of these, different colors. And some of these like are, I was really surprised how hard they are. Um, the church growth game is absolutely impossible. If you guess, you're supposed to guess how many people come to church. And if you guess wrong, it adds more people. That's true. And if you still guess wrong, next thing you know, you got the whole you church. You have more people. And it's just like, yeah, yes, let's fill the place. Well, okay, let's, let's, place. okay, so tell them the options, Leonard, because okay, they can't see the little speed. Number one is Noah's Ark. Number two, Manna from Heaven. Number three, the Quail Game, one of my favorites. Uh, Moses is rod number four. The Exodus game number five. Now that's good. That's kind of like a war strategy thing right there. Daniel in the lion's den. I, that yeah. was fun until I figured it out. Heavenly mansions. That one's absolutely nuts. That's a hard one to find. Uh, church growth game we talk about. And the rapture game. Okay. So, so pick, uh, yeah, let's go number one, Noah's Ark. Number one. <laughs> so I put a graphic of... <laughs> That's pretty good. A Petsky graphic of a boat there. Maybe not exactly like Noah's Ark because it has that pointed bow on it, but okay. Uh, how do you know? Nobody's ever seen it. Uh, All right then, we gotta get the elements to the ark, so let's see. I will choose the first elephant at nine. Okay. And the second element as three. So basically, Noah's Ark is a racing game. Yeah, this is kind of like a place your bets. <laughs> I'm just like, that's good for children. So, so instead of horses racing, we have elephants, elephants racing, racing to get yeah, to sure. Noah's Ark. Okay, here goes. So here we have little symbols, little character symbols, and they race along there. And, and they're supposed to hit the finish yeah, line. The original moves really slow. Oh yeah, without compiling this thing. Mm. Uh, it was like un unplayable. This, I mean, Robert's version is a whole lot better. But everything here is a development. If anybody wants to give it a try, um, you're welcome just to uh, throw some money in the Sarpino's bag. There it is. And it says, what does it say, Leonard? It, it says, says, come on, nine and three. Your you guesses guess were nine and three incorrectly. Okay, so fine. It was eight and one. The, yeah, the winners were one and eight. So. <laughs> you want to play again? So, no. Okay. Okay. Next one, number two. Go to it. It is uh, manna from heaven. And this is basically like, uh, what would you call it? A uh, catch, catch the thing falling down from the sky. Or like hey. a boom or something like that. Yeah, that's right. So, so okay, a little Petsky graphic there uh, that mm -hmm. I put in there. That's, that's supposed good. to be that's supposed to be a hill. That's supposed to be banner coming down from heaven. Okay, here it goes. So you move your 
Wait, with your, there he is. With your cursor keys. Oh, I'm using the wrong keys. <laughs> with your cursor keys, you're supposed to grab that before it hits the ground. Of course, the now sky. The thing is, you have to pick it up. It's getting darker and darker. Ah! As, as it's getting the, the sky is getting darker and darker, and the the man is falling faster and faster. And you have to grab as many as you can before the sky comes down. I hear Star Wars playing in the background. Yeah. From the yeah. Pets? From the pets. Looking good. Okay. How many did you catch? I have no idea. It's going to tell me here in a little bit. Okay. Matt's getting really hard. Yes, it's getting really hard. As but it's coming the, faster. As the sky gets lower and lower. Mm -hmm. As the curtain the comes going down. As the curtain comes down on you. Mm -hmm. As the drawbridge is lowering. But you can pick them up off the ground, and I think that does count. No, I don't think so. <laughs> And basically, we're at the end. Yep, the sun is down. That's it. Yeah, you're right. You caught six pieces of man out of a possible 20. All right, okay. Do you want to play again? No, not right now. No time. Number three. You the want, to, you want to go through this whole thing? Sure. The quail game. I really don't want to, Robert. Oh, no. Alright, number three. All that. Yeah, that's a whole lot quicker than... So, so you have to pick coordinates and find out where the quail is hiding. Mm -hmm. the, in that, in that, well, it's supposed to be a grid, but of course, that's supposed to be grass, that they're hiding in the grass. You did grass, but it's hard to see the wheat. <laughs> oh, is it wheat? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? I, I thought it was grass. Isn't gra wheat a grass? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Well, let's see. You choose a coordinates. Choose a, a, a to P. So, so the kids have have to know about coordinates. Yeah, you got to do the top first. If, if they are too young, they won't be able to figure this out. Going, huh? Yep. <laughs> hey, I found one. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's go to the next version. <laughs> and of course, to get out of the game, all you have to do is hit Run, Stop, Restore. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. And run it again. So I disabled the stop key, but run, stop, restore still works. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's go to four. Moses Rod. Moses Rod is fairly easy. This looks like it will fit right here. Oh, look at that. Look, look at that graphic of Moses. Look at that. The big head. The kind of bright. I love it. Look at that brow. Well, that's supposed to be a, a hood. <laughs> that's okay. He's supposed to be wearing robes. Doesn't look like where he's wearing robes. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So I want to turn around and do for one Okay. So what you do is with your cursor keys, I believe. No, you got to choose north, south. Oh yeah. Okay. North, south, east, or west. And you have to find where the water is, or get to the water. Yep. There it is. He, he, he hit the rock, the water comes out of it. That was those are supposed to be waves of water. <laughs> yep. Imagine that. Waves of water coming out the rock. Yeah, I like that. Okay, next. Okay. No, don't play again. Next, it is the Exodus game, which is kind of a strategy game. Okay, I got that map from another, from a, 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 a compute gazette game called uh, Sea, Route, sea Route to India. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed the entire map out of there and dumped it into this program. Mm -hmm. You 
sure did. And I like that. Lead the Israelites out of, out of, uh, I can't read the rest of it. Egypt, there it is. Okay, here it goes. And again, you, then you have to go north, south, east, west mm -hmm. to get to the promised land, which is marked by a P. Yep. And I is the Israelites. But, uh oh, look at that. The, 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 the they are attacking. A is, is a big block, a block. Mm -hmm. A is no good. You have to go around A. Keep on going. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm sure you do this. So, again, north, south, east, west. You have to get around that to get to the promised land. And you can uh, engage them for an attack, but usually what I do is you just go around. When you attack, engage them, you pretty much lose. That's right. You may lose. Because you're not, it's not ready to, you not ready to attack the Americans yet. Oh. Looks like they're blocking my way to go directly there. Yeah. So uh, in the original game, they had different lettering in there. I, I had to change some of the lettering. I, went, huh? I don't blame you. So unfortunately, none of these games is joystick control. So it nope. would have been nice to use a joystick. But yeah, that would be You have nice. to use uh, keyboard controls for these games. Actually, you know, when I look at this game, I'm saying, hey, can't this be converted to the pet? Because it's, all it is is a lot of keyboard graphics. Yeah, it's written in basic. You made it to the promise it, it has a few sounds, but not too much. <laughs> there it is. Okay, next. No, don't play again. Okay, we go to uh, Daniel in the Lion's Okay, Daniel in the Lion's Den. I can never escape from the lion. The lion always catches me, and I die. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you how to do that. Oh. It took me a while, but I figured Press it out. C to continue. Okay, so those little uh, Petsky symbols is yes, Daniel. So this is your move. Daniel is the human heart. The human <laughs> heart, and the lion is the. The, the lion is the. Ooh, what, what symbol is the lion? The, the lion is, uh, is some symbol. <laughs> right there. Uh, my, I can't right, see it quite. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, here we go. And don't fall down into the pits, which is marked by uh, a big hole. This is a whole lot quicker than what, what Robert. There you go. But it's me. Oh, okay. That's why I wanted Mario to have his chance. That's why I yeah. didn't really want to turn around and take up too much of the time. So, so again... You are trying to escape out of there, but how, which way do you go to get out of the lines then? I never could figure no, that out. No, you can't get out. you got to turn around and sink the lines in the pit. What? Yeah, you're supposed to put the lines in the pit. How do you do that? I don't understand. Don't the lines eat you? If you get close to a line, doesn't it eat you? How can you push them into a pit? Yeah, I don't they don't understand. push. They let them fall in themselves. Oh, huh? they fall in by themselves? How weird. Mm -hmm. Now, believe it or not, let me see if I can do this. There they are in a row. You stand right there. You stand right there. Mm -hmm. We got a lock up here, Robert. Maybe my keyboard's unresponsive. I don't know. Uh oh. I don't know. Maybe or maybe it's just thinking too much. Yeah, good over thinking. Oh, well. Oh, no. Okay. Run, stop, restore. Okay, get out of it. No, you don't have to turn it off. Run stop restore. Okay, run it again. Here we go. Next game. Okay. I'll have to check that key. Okay, so it is uh, seven, the heavenly mansion. Seven, heavenly mansion. Very tough. All right. Now again, I based that. Okay, since it's called heavenly mansion, I thought to myself, okay, I need to put the picture of a mansion there. So, no, that is not a school building. <laughs> <laughs> I, that is that, that, that is not a school building. It's a mansion I, converted it's supposed, to a school building. It was supposed to be a mansion, but I based it on the Beverly Hills mansion from the Beverly Hillbilly show. <laughs> there you go. If you remember the Beverly Hillbilly show, they lived in a mansion. So that's the closest I could approximate to the mansion in the Beverly Hillbillies. 
that old TV show. All right, you're in room 4681. And okay, so the eventual goal of this game is, is to, to find all 12 apostles. Oh, find all 12 apostles. You gotta so, find all 12. But there, isn't there like hundreds and hundreds of rooms? Mm -hmm. Oh, forget it. <laughs> now you got it. Didn't you? Okay, let's get out of this one. Okay, run stuffy story. <laughs> no wonder I could never finish the game. I go, what? <laughs> okay, next, the the church growth game. Eight. I love it. Okay, so that is supposed to be a church. Even though I know that looks like a house with a little cross I put on top of it. But it's supposed to be a church. That'll be fun. Number of members in this growing church. Can we make it easy? Okay, so this is supposed to be the interior of the church. Okay, that, that little thing off to the right, <laughs> that is supposed to be the pulpit, the, the okay. altar, the, okay, that's the, that's where the minister is, okay, but all the rest is, are, are, are the people in the church. Mm -hmm. So how, you're supposed to figure out how many people are in the church there, by looking at it. Yeah. Of course, I guess the kids, if they have enough patience, they could count every one of those little symbols. Yeah, and I tried that. No, no, no. And instead I'm of just... I'm going to try 55, now watch this. The church is growing. Yeah. The number's way too few. Oh, and then it adds more, it more sure church does. members. It's so too few. I'm able to figure out this 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 game mm -hmm. if I make correct guesses. Too many, so it's 85 to 100 and try. So let's go to 95. You'll zero in on the number eventually. You see how hard this is? Nah, it's easy. Oh, figure it out. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel and the Lions did is harder for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. Okay, next. Okay, reset. Run, stop, restore. Okay, and finally, the last one. I think we're down down to the last one here. Yeah, I don't think it would be a heavenly mansion. Yeah. Uh, or uh, the church the, the rapture game. The rapture game. Okay. So, the rapture game. Uh, oh, yeah. So, I, I put in that graphic there of a, a person being raptured. <laughs> Enraptured. He, there's... There's the sun, the, there's God up there, the star up in the sky, and he's in the rapture. So that's what that means. Cool. Okay, uh, again, it's one of those coordinate games, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Problem is, it doesn't, uh, let's see. So he, the, the, the human person there is represented by that heart, I believe. And then you're... You're supposed to try and the object of the game is to and I forgot the object of the game. What's the object of the game? Uh, turn like, around and tell them about the Lord. Oh. Oh, you're supposed to find people, right? And there you are. Okay, got it. Let's see. So you're on D. I'll try to do 24. So how many people are you are, how many people are you supposed to find in as the As many as you can before the noise goes off and everything's happening. Oh, there's a timer. Mm -hmm. oh. Timer. Oh, God. So that's pretty that's real tough. It's real tough. Oh. Okay, very good. That that was that part of the, that that game. Okay. And finally the last part, because we're we, we, I only have like six minutes left on this tape. We we go to the 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 the, the, the other side of the game, oh, which was okay. uh, Bible scramble. Bible scramble, yes. Bible All scramble. Right, we can do so that. I was not able to really put graphics into Bible scramble. The way the the game is built. I 
I appreciate everybody putting up with me today. <laughs> I think we're the only two being entertained by this. With maybe Mario. There you go. The only three of us being entertained. Mario's a good sport. <laughs> Mario's a good stuff. Oh, my! Oh, yeah, Bible Scramble, and, and the game is compiled also to make it a little bit faster, mm -hmm. even though it's mostly text. Right. And this one can be manipulated too to change the verses. Right. And so, yeah, so you could, yeah, the basic. Before you compile it, because when once you compile it, you can't change anything. Right, right. But, uh, right. But and can, since you let me read the uh, how to do that, it's going to be a whole lot easier. So it's the same with basics. But it's the same with Blitz if you use Blitz instead, because Blitz is somewhat more compatible than Basic 64. So Blitz, you know, you pick your options. Do you want to do you want to compile under number one or number two or number three? It gives you three choices. I guess the same kind of tile menu, I mean, uh, warning there. Wait a minute, are we in the same game? Or is this different? Different game. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nine again. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yes. So, yeah, so we're just going to run one of these. Okay, sure. pick, pick, your, pick your choice. Number two. Oh, yeah, I did put in a few graphics, not much. That is, okay, that is not a box. That is supposed to be a book of the Bible. Yeah, now this kind of works like uh, Wheel of Fortune, but you get a guess, but it doesn't show up in the right order. Yeah. It says guess letter from A to Z. F is not it. I cheat. I just go A, B, C. Well, yeah, I know. Go ahead. Okay. And I don't know why it's beeping. Is that supposed to be a timer? That's to remind you. To remind you that you gotta push something. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> okay, you, you're picking lots of letters, and a few of them are being chosen mm -hmm. at the top, and eventually. You get so many letters up at the top. Okay, right. so from those amount of letters, then you have to unscramble the word. You gotta unscramble and, it. And put it there. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Matthew, okay? Return. Guess the previous book. Ah, then it becomes too hard. Oh! Oh, very good. And then guess the the book afterwards? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You know. There's my score, 275. Oh, wow. Success. There you go. Because I could never guess the previous book or the, the, the book. Are you kidding? Up. When I turned around and started doing this, I had to get on the internet, too. <laughs> Yay. Leonard, is, I, think that's, I think that's it. That's I appreciate it. your help, sir. Those, those, are all the, those are all the religious games. Yeah. Yes, can you turn around and say hallelujah? Yay. Reach behind your Commodore and Yay. feel the electricity. <laughs> Ooh, that, if you feel the electricity, then something's wrong. You short it out. Your Commodore is in bad shape if you could feel it. It could be the movement of the spirit, you don't it, know. It could be An something, That's right, it could be something wrong with your equipment. <laughs> Thank, All right. Thank you. Thank you, Leonard. Bye-bye. Thank, you. Bye -bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. The Commodore Los Angeles Super Show.